7 Most Common Mistakes You Make During Your Dog's Bath Time If you deal with a silly and clumsy dog in your everyday life, bathing can be crucial and challenging. Most dogs would rather skip bath time, but keeping your pooch clean plays an important role in your fur buddy's health. Bathing helps your dog from shedding, maintaining a healthy coat and skin, and reduces the chance for allergies. While it is true that every dog has specific needs and levels of comfort during bath time, it is your responsibility as a paw parent to keep bath time a positive, easy, and fun experience. It may seem hard to imagine how do you make your dog love bath time, but looking back and reflecting on your actions can be the key. Even the most well-researched paw parent can make mistakes during bath time, and there's something you can do about it. Before getting started on your dreaded quality bath time with your pup, check out these 7 most common mistakes dog owners unconsciously make during scrub time. 1. Forgetting to check the water's temperature. The first thing to do to make sure your fur buddy will have a comfortable bath is by checking the water's temperature beforehand. Keeping the right temperature can relax and ease your dog's muscles and make the bath time experience bearable. Remember to check and pay attention to the water temperature to ensure a bath goes well, especially if your dog is not fond of water. While it is true that people can tolerate higher temperatures during a bath, it may be too hot for your pup. Spraying cold water is also not a good idea, especially if the weather outside is a breeze, your fur buddy can catch a cold after taking a bath. Adjusting the water's temperature to a pleasant lukewarm state can be enough for your dog's bath. Be sure to test out the water's temperature at least twice before you put your fur buddy in the tub. The trick to knowing the water is just suitable for your dog is by spraying some water on your forearm since that area is more sensitive to hot or cold temperatures. If you practice this every before bath time, your fur buddy is in good hands. 2. Forgetting to put your dog's eyes and ears protection. Your dog's eyes and ears are one of their most sensitive body parts, and some paw parent forgets this fact. While some dogs enjoy playing with water, getting unexpected guests in their eyes and ears can cause them discomfort and gives bath time an endgame. One of the first things you should do before bathing your dog is to prepare a game plan. You need to sort out ways to avoid getting water, and soap, in your dog's eyes and ears, and once you're ready, it's bath time. Getting water in your dog's eyes and ears may not just be uncomfortable, but it can be dangerous and painful at the same time. Paw parents are most likely to make a mistake when they are washing their dog's face. Instead of using running water over your dog's head, it is best to use a damp cloth. If water gets in your dog's eyes, using a wet washcloth can be enough to clean up the water and shampoo in bliss. While your dog's ears are prone to infection, you can keep them clean with the help of a damp cloth or ear wipe made especially for your fur buddy. Moreover, remember to never clean too deep into your dog's ear canal and never stick cotton buds inside. 3. Bathing your dog with the wrong products. You may think that human shampoo is good enough for your pup, but sticking with a formula specifically made for your dog is still the best option. While there are various products created for dogs furs and bodies, some dogs may still be sensitive to some products. The best way to know the right product for your pooch is by talking to your vet to try out a different shampoo. Your dog's fur and skin are delicate, and some people may advise using an oatmeal-based shampoo. However, despite using the right product, make sure not to use it too often. Bathing your pup weekly is enough to maintain them clean and fresh. If you have a dog who loves the outdoors, regular bathing may be necessary. Some dogs love to soak in water, especially during hot weather. Learn your dog's routine and keep their glow natural as it is. 4. Using a strong water pressure spray during bath time. Bear in mind that bathing your dog is accepting the challenge of possibly getting soaked throughout the experience. You may be one of those paw parents who rely on a handheld shower head or the faucet to wash up their fur babies. You may want to rethink your choice of weapon, especially if you have super strong water pressure to use. As easy as it can wash up your dog, strong water pressure can also easily scare the hell out of your dog. Some pooch may react very strongly out of fright or surprise when the water hits their body. Instead of using the faucet or shower, make use of a big cup and scoop water into your dog's body slowly and with the right amount. If you still prefer to use a shower or a faucet, let the water hit the back of your hand first to reduce the pressure and give a gentle feeling to your dog's body. 5. Washing your dog's fur with the wrong amount of water. 
As a paw parent, you can never be sure if you already washed up all the shampoos in your dog's body. Sometimes you wash your fur body with an inadequate amount of water, and sometimes it's too much, there's no in-between. But, guess what, that's totally normal because it solely depends on what products you use. It is best to speak with your groomer or your dog's vet to know which products to use. There can be harsh shampoos that can strip off the natural oils in your fur body's coat and cause irritation. At the same time, some products make regular baths easier and satisfying. 6. Not drying your dog correctly. Keep in mind that your dog will try their best to get dry all on their own, which means you're up for a show of seeing them shaking the water off. While this can be satisfying and oddly fun for them, letting them go on their own is not enough. You must take the time to dry them off properly. The first thing you need to do is grab a clean towel and gently tap and squeeze as much water as possible from your dog's fur. Towels are likely enough for short-haired dogs, but if your fur buddy is the long-haired kind of dog, you might need to exert more effort in drying them. You may need to use a hair dryer solely made for your pooch to reduce your dog's chances of experiencing skin irritation and getting skin burns. 7. Yelling or scolding your dog during bath time. If you want bathing or drying to be as smooth as possible, make sure to keep your cool and stop yourself from yelling or scolding your fur babies. Bathing a silly dog can be frustrating but yelling only makes it worse. So, bring a lot of patience and a pack of yummy treats to make the experience bearable and fun. Your dog will remain calm and follow you when you keep a happy and secure Dora. If you work side by side with your dog and give positive reinforcement with praise and delicious treats, expect that bathing them can be swiftly done. Keep treats handy to increase your dog's cooperation or be a means of distraction. Once you reinforce a good experience, there's a high chance that the following bath times will be less stressful and be more a positive experience for your pup. Conclusion You have what it takes to make bath times incredibly intimate and an enjoyable experience for you and your fur buddy. Take these measures to keep your fur buddy feel safe and comfortable during bath times. As the days pass, your dog will eventually get the hang of getting bathed. You'll be surprised at how bath time becomes one of the best activities to spend quality time with your fur buddy. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.